Here is question number 10 on exponential functions. Mass of a radioactive substance with respect to time in hours is shown in the graph below. Determine the approximate mass of the substance left after 15 hours, that's part A. Part B is use the graph to determine half-life of the radioactive material and part C is develop an algebraic model for the given situation, right? So this question is basically on modeling, right? So it is not transformation, it is basically on modeling of exponential functions. Now let's start with part A of this question, which is determine approximate mass of the substance left after 15 hours. So that is a graph given to us, time in hours and mass remaining in milligrams. So after 15 hours means that is 15, so we can go up and that's the point. So we, that is how we can find what is the mass left. So it is approximately, well each unit is 40, half will be 30 and seems to be very close to that. So it is between 20 and 30. So we can say, well it is 25 milligrams. So it is always an approximate answer. So we'll write 25 milligrams for part A. Now part B is use the graph to determine half-life of the radioactive material. So the initial amount is 200 that is when t equals to 0 right. So half of 200 is 100. So let's see where 100 is. 100 is right there correct. So that is 100. And how much time does it take to decay to 100? That will give us the half-life right. So it seems to be as five hours right so half-life is five hours now we need to develop an algebraic model for the given situation so the algebraic model will be will help us to provide the remaining mass so we can say well the remaining mass m should be equal to initial mass m0 times now the decay rate this is decaying and since we know the half-life, right, it's good to write in terms of half-life. So we can say half of t to the divided by half-life period, which is 5 hours. So that should give us the model, right? So I think that is just the right answer which we are looking for. So let me write that with the initial mass. So we get now mass at any instance of time t, right, as a function of time, which is in hours is equals to initial mass of 200 right times half which is 0 0.5 or half you can write t over 5 so that becomes our equation or the model for the given situation right so what you can do is that you can at this time plug in 15 here for t when you substitute 15 you can calculate the mass which is the answer for a also right and figure out if this model really works for you Okay, I hope you understand with this how to translate a graph into a model. And we had previous questions in which you learned how to model from a given situation, right? So these are all very important questions for you and I hope understanding them will help you perform better in your test. All the best. Thank you.